Welcome to Array Polar MIG Tutorials. In the second tutorial of the series, we will explain the MIG library and specs the screens. These screens allow the access to the monitoring tool and database with a list of microphones and its technical characteristics. We select a model of microphone, assign it to favorites and choose one of the six poses. To select a pose, we must take into account the visual perspective of the polar pattern and the rest of the scene. We select a RAID and it takes us to the matching screen that displays the selected virtual microphone. We superimpose the virtual and real microphone images, we activate the autofocus tapping on the screen and we start the automatic matching process, which is quite fast. It is important that the camera has the real microphone into focus before starting the automatic matching process. When the matching is finished, the main screen appears an array polar mic shows on the real microphone its distinctive polar pattern. When we initiate the array polar mic, we access the mic library screen. The screen displays in alphabetic order all the microphone models included in array polar mic. At the top of the screen, we can find the settings, info, and filter buttons. At the bottom of the screen, we may see the mic request button. The settings button appears on all screens of Array Polar Mic except the matching one. By pressing it, we access the general settings of Array Polar Mic. The info button appears on all screens of Array Polar Mic. By pressing it, we activate the user guide that displays information on the current screen. We can disable this feature from the settings. The request button allows you to request a model of microphone not included in Array Polar Mic. It's necessary to have an internet connection to make the request to our tech lab. To browse the list of microphones, the library includes the favorite and search filtered tools. When we assign to favorites, we customize the display and order of the microphone models and it gives us access to an enlarged view where there is information about the directivity pattern of the model, number of polar curves and the position switch. The search filters allow you to search model by brand, type of microphone and directivity in the general list. As we add filters, the general list is modified and it displays only the models affected by the parameters on the filters. In this example, we conduct the search for cardioid condenser microphones included in Array Polar Mic. We can see how to access a technical datasheet by pressing the specs button. With the microphone switch button, we can see the technical data of all microphone models affected by the MIC library filters, in this case, condenser cardioid microphones. If there is no active filter, the user can consult the technical data of all models included in Area Polar MIC. At the top of the specs page, we will find the sensitivity data, impedance, dynamic range, noise signal radio, maximum sound pressure level, attenuators, and filters of the model. In the central part of the technical sheet, we can find the directivity indicator that shows the total number of polar patterns of the model and the browser of directivity charts. This tool shows the value of sensitivity and maximum sound pressure level according to the directivity selected and it changes the polar pattern graph and response in the technical sheet, being able to quickly see the different graphs and response of the model. The polar pattern graphic includes a button for each frequency and the curves can be individually enabled or disabled at will. For more information about Array Polar Mic, visit our web Array Tech Labs. On our YouTube channel, you will find more tutorials and videos of Array Polar Mic. Thanks for your attention and see you soon.